Bama Rush. I finally sat down and watched it with my daughter, my recent college graduate, and it's sitting with me pretty heavily because I was a sorority girl. And I gotta tell you, I had a great experience. I had a great experience with Rush. Guess I had no idea how intense it is. I am still taking it all in. Anyway, I have such fond memories of being amongst a ton of other girls, mostly freshman girls. You've got to scoop along and go with the ride. What I discovered in this documentary, a lot of people go through a lot of prep and there were some things in there that reminded me a little bit of pageant days. There are actually people considered Rush consultants and they've made a career out of this. They advise girls going through Rush on everything from conversation, what to wear, how to conduct yourself. Interesting. Another interesting thing is my own daughter decided to not go through Rush and I probably had a moment where I was like, oh, I wish she could experience what that was like. But then I totally, and especially now, honor her decision to not rush and not be part of a sorority. For me in particular, I was from a small rural town in Georgia and no one else in my graduating class went to University of Georgia. So here I was going into a large, large school. I had no other friends there, so I thought that joining a sorority is going to be the way that I can meet new people. And that's exactly what it was. It just kind of put me in a group of girls that had some things in common. And that was, was that we were all trying to figure out a way to get involved and belong in a large university setting. I loved the traditions. The year that I pledged, it was our centennial. So this sorority went back to 1884, just gave us a cause for another large celebration. We had good times to this day. Some of my dearest friends are people that I knew in those very formative years. Also, pretty recently, I reconnected with a pledge sister. We had not seen each other literally in 35 years. We just picked right up. Might not be the case for every sorority sister, as you know, when you move on from the college years, life goes on and adulting happens. You start seeing life through a very different lens, not through lens of the bubble of either the university or the sorority house. I think that's one of the reasons why I was totally supportive of my daughter's decision to not rush. She had to find her own bubble and she had to figure out how she was going to approach her own socialization. She did a beautiful job. She's a graduate with a lot of friends, a varied friend circle. Now, the one thing that a sorority will do is kind of homogenize and give everyone a little bit of sameness, which on one hand can be, ah, okay, same. On the other hand, there's so much room for individuality and to see different personality traits come out and play. The thing that binds you all together are the traditions and the secrets. Interesting how this came about. The director of this movie had her own issues that came out. I think that is the crux of everything is that no one fits any one mold. Everyone kind of comes with their own story, their own baggage, if you will. Certainly their own life experiences. Honestly, had no mean girl experiences. Our dinners together, formal dinners at a long banquet table waiting for our house mother to sit before anyone could begin dinner. I think I preferred studying in our sorority study. It was a little more quiet. There were only women allowed in there. Men were not allowed in the sorority houses. I don't know if it's that way. I would imagine it's probably still that way. Going through Rush is very different from going through Rush as an established sister, someone who is on the decision-making side. I would much rather go through Rush, honestly, than have been on the other side, which I was for three years. I went through Rush for one year and then for the other three years, you're on the sister selection committee. That can be rough. Discussing people who are interested in being in your sorority and there are people in the sorority who know that person either from school or families. That whole recruitment process really took a long time. I kind of chuckled when I saw one of the prospective members who had gone to great lengths in planning their outfits for the whole thing to the point of doing rent the runway so i guess that's a thing too there was nothing fair about it it was very subjective and what people knew of you what your reputation was that was your entree into that world 
but I enjoyed the process. I got my first house. I got my first choice. I was on cloud nine. We were invited here. This is just coming to me at the top of my head. We were invited to spend the night at the sorority house that first night, a pledge night, because they had a lot of activities planned for us. Your pledge sister introduces you and starts teaching you how to become a sister. So I went over and I woke up the next morning. I felt like it was Christmas morning. I woke up with the feeling that, oh my gosh, I'm not only stepping into this fabulous university, but I'm stepping in with a group of girls who have accepted me and want me to be a part of them. And I was so happy. Despite all of that, if I had a do-over, I don't know if I would have gone through Rush again. Knowing what I know now, I'm certain I could have made friends on my own as an independent. That also goes back to my daughter, letting her do things her way, different from her mama. I loved it all. Go dogs.